Hey guys, it's Roscoe, and on the Space Coast site, I popped into Bromley into the bookstore and acquired this Alphabet Squadron by Alexander Freed. I really like this cover. Um, I like the those colours. Um, despite the fact it's quite bright, I find it very soothing as well. So obviously you see the X wing, the A wing, the B wing, the Y wing, and the U wing. And this will be the lead lady here. That's just the back cover. I will just read what that says, and then we'll read the dust jacket as well. How well do you know your squadron? General Sindula asked. Well enough, Kel wanted to answer, but she knew it wasn't the reply the general was looking for. I've read their profiles, I've talked to Aiden's droid and gotten its opinion, I've participated in... All right, you're not the eats with the pilot sort of commander. Let me put it this way. You know your squadron will fight, but will they fight for you? Kel said nothing. Do they know that you'll fight for them? <laughs> General Sindula. Good to see her getting a bit of love. Uh, now, what it says in the dust jacket. On the verge of victory in a brutal war, five New Republic pilots transform from hunted to hunters in this epic Star Wars adventure. The Emperor is dead. His final weapon has been destroyed. The Imperial Army is in disarray. In the aftermath, Erika Kell is just one of thousands of defectors from her former cause living in a deserted shantytown. Uncertain about her place in the Republic she once fought against, she has begun to lose any hope for redemption until she is selected to join Alphabet Squadron. Cobbled together from an eclectic assortment of pilots and starfighters, the five members of Alphabet are tasked by new gen a New Republic General Harrison Dula herself. Like Erica, each is a talented pilot with a past full of violence and loss. Their mission? To track down and destroy the mysterious Shadow Wing a lethal force, force of TIE fighters exacting bloody, merciless vengeance in the twilight of their reign. The newly formed unit embodies the heart and soul of the rebellion, ragtag, resourceful, scrappy and emboldened by their most audacious victory in decades. But going from underdog rebels to celebrated heroes isn't as easy as it seems, and their inner demons threaten them as much as their enemies among the stars. The wayward warriors of Alphabet Squadron will have to learn to fly together to protect, to protect the new era of peace they fought so hard to achieve. Now you see on the bottom here, it says a Marvel crossover event. Now see, Marvel now do all the Star Wars comics, and this ties into the TIE Fighter comic that is going on at the moment. And there is, in fact, a bit of bonus content in this book. Because if you look, you see this indicates there is something let's just get to it and here it is there's a part from that um uh, comic which obviously i'll be acquiring that once it's out in its trade volume pop, um size so there you see an x-wing under attack by tie fighters in fact by tie interceptors there they're taking care of business that's a good one there and there's one of a star destroyer is that the pursuer i think it says and there they are heading home And this will just, uh, TIE Fighter was at Shadowing, so is that the same people who's in this? No, it is just a squad of the Imperials. And I know that one of the characters in this comic turns up in this book, but I'm not sure who it is. Look at her, she means business, I would not cross her. And this reminds me of the one of the guys from the Han Solo Imperial Cadet comic. And it might even be him, I'm not sure. <laughs> And there's some more stuff going on. And then just the last one here. So yes, I shall be reading this. I'm glad that this is actually out now. I've just gone and scratched the cover with my thumbnail. <laughs> um, because obviously you remember the saga of Queen Shadow. But Master and Commander did come out here in the UK and in the US at the same time. And this, I think, has only just come out in the US, so I'm glad that it's out here. So, yes, like I say, really love this cover. It's my understanding, and I could be wrong, that this is going to be a trilogy, or more, perhaps. Because remember the old um, the X-Wing novels, you know, was it? Uh, number 10 in the exciting series, as I recall from one of my Star Wars book collection videos. So they were all good. I thoroughly enjoyed that style. So hopefully this will be up to that level as well.
So there you go, guys. That's what I acquired today, Alphabet Squadron by Alexander Freed. And what I loved about his novelisation of Rogue One was all that extra material, you know, like Mon Mothma's emails and all the stuff that um, Galen Erso was snowing the Imperials under with so he could hide his fatal flaw in the Death Star. All that sort of stuff it would be great if this was the same because that really made that novel stand head and shoulders above where it would have been just as a normal novelisation. But there you go, guys. Alphabet Squadron. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for a coin topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.